In this video, I'll show you how to check if a website is legit or scam. It is a straightforward and clearly described in the video, so follow all the steps. But before we dive into all of it, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Right, so checking whether a website is legit or scam is important to protect yourself from potential fraud or security risks, right? So here are some steps you can take to determine if that website is fake or legit so i'm here at chase.com although it's a bank but it's a good uh a good um a good avenue to check if the website is legit or a uh, scam so i went here on the uh, personal credit card section where it says how to check if a website is legit all right so you can do that in multiple ways you go to a uh, google but here i went here in chase.com since i've been um exploring chase.com i opened my account and i so happened to encounter this um help section so they've compiled a list of what you can look to tell if a website is legitimate so first off is study the address bar and url so in investigate the ssl certificate check the website for uh, for poor grammar or spelling verify the domain Check the contact page, look up and review the company's social media presence. Check for the website's privacy policy and look for questionable links within an email. So first off is... So we go here to study the address bar in URL. So this could be at the top of your browser. And if you're looking for a few things like misspellings, the HTTPS is really important. So the S in HTTPS stands for secure, all right? And seeing that s should give you some assurance that the website's protocol is secure right so https means safe or secure in the uh, in the http right you might have to click the address bar in your browser several times to view this portion of the url unfortunately <laughs> though https is not always a guarantee that the site is secure bad actors have learned to spoof this security protocol but it's a good indicator right Right now, investigating the SSL certificate. So HTTPS is it just, it's, it's just one indicator, right, of a website having a secure protocol. However, the most popular web browsers today rec recognize a website secure socket layer, which is the SSL, commonly called the security certificate. So if your browser would display an icon on a closed padlock on the address bar, like here, you see this one? Okay. But sometimes the SSL can be spoofed, right? You can usually select the padlock icon to view if the connection is key, right? See right here, the connection is secure as well as the details of the certificate, right? So check the website for a programmer of spelling. Website can have typos, but they really appear on legitimate company website because they have like a moderator to check on that. So if you see or spot a uh, poor grammar that's a good indicator that the website is fishy right and of course verify the domain subtle changes are hard to notice such as zero instead of capital letter o all right some are harder to spot but one indicator of an illegitimate site could be multiple word that come sequences in the url all right and there should be only one domain in the web address you might see something like chase.com however there shouldn't be more than one dot com dot org dot net all right for example, a Chase website wouldn't be chase.com slash bank account dot chase dot org, right? The last domain in the address, chase.org, is incorrect. So that's a good indicator that the website is a little bit scammy or fishy, right? Of course, check the contact page. It's not difficult to copy a company's design, logos, and branding on the front page to fool you. A legitimate company, however, would not withhold the ways you can contact them. So you may be viewing a scam website if you cannot find contact information about a company, right? That's a good indicator. And if you do find contact information, you're still not in the clear. There's only one contact option. So in general, if it seems that the website is not thoroughly providing contact information or it's directing you to other sites, the whole website could be dangerous, right? Look up and review the company's social media presence and check for a website's uh, privacy policy, right? Also, you can look for uh, questionable links within an email right here. And when in doubt, get out of there. <laughs> Through increasingly sophisticated techniques, Many online thieves are finding it easy to falsify website and send fraudulent emails and text messages. Accordingly, it's reasonable to be suspicious of websites no matter how polished they may appear at first glance. 
seriously consider leaving any site that looks strange to you all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next one